when I was started the college process, I definitely opened my uh, opened the nation to where I wanted to attend, and I always was had an interest of the East Coast probably from movies, I love movies, and um, so I uh, started to look on the East Coast only and I got an offer to come visit UMaine and I took it and I fell in love with the community aspect, the school, the teammates, and um, pretty much after my trip there I committed the weekend after and um, it, my, it was my September of my senior year so I didn't have to worry about that all uh, my senior year of uh, high school basketball where I was going to college I already knew and um, it was a great decision. The biggest thing is when I stepped off the plane to Maine the first time it was the air. I was like wow the air was so fresh and I just remember turning to my dad I was like oh my gosh you can breathe and just uh, the way of life was just a different uh, it was kind of a, a little slower just uh, enjoying the moment of things and then when I, especially when I go back home to San Diego everything's hustling bustling moving around and Maine's still that slow nice just chill vibes. <laughs> so originally I wanted to go uh, find a school that was really good with engineering. I was always interested in that. I was part of an engineering program in my high school and uh, when I got here, I uh, had a meeting with actually the business dean, and so I had an interest in both the business side of things and engineering. So my freshman year, I took courses in both departments, and uh, I had a business leadership class with Sean McKenna, and he, it was the best class of my life, and just really changed my perspective of things in the business world, and it really uh, influenced me to take the business route. So um, I entered with the marketing, with business marketing, and then decided to add a management double degree. So now I'm graduating with management marketing with a concentration of leadership. Um, definitely Orno is um, far out there, but because of it, we have a more sense of community and importance and by uh, being far out you know our road trips are longer but with that extra road trip we uh, bond together more as a team and also our experiences are different um, every time we go to a more populated city you know we um, enjoy those experiences and um, especially with athletics um, our season takes a good chunk of that time out uh, like free time of exploring the areas so um, by having athletics while doing um, in this community, it, it allows you to like expand and stuff. <laughs> yes, I'm definitely more of a um, role player instead of being the one that does. This. Before in high school, I was the one who scored all the points for my team because that's what I was needed to do. But in this situation, we have Blanca and Tanisha who are great scorers and um, I trust them to shoot the ball. So if I can pass them the ball, then I'm okay with that. And uh, just knowing your role is bigger than just scoring, I think that's the biggest takeaway I've taken. My defense is just as important and um, I've taken pride in knowing that my uh, presence on the court will allow my shooters to get open. I think uh, after, so some of the freshmen wrote their uh, letters to me for my senior night and I think the biggest message I took, took away from that was that I was like the glue to our team. So just making sure everyone, it feels a part of it and like is connected. I feel like that is my role that I've come into. I mean, I think it's so important, the season's so long, to have that connection off the court and like joke around with everyone and just um, know about their lives. More, It's more than basketball. And um, so I think that is what I did this year to help keep everyone together as a team. Uh, the biggest thing that I'm going to take away from my four years at University of Maine is uh, the connections of people and the networks of family and friends that you can create anywhere you go. I mean, Orno is a great community and if you put yourself out there, they will accept you. I didn't know any person coming in freshman year four years ago and now I feel like I'm leaving with a whole uh, broad of people with me, behind me, and it, um, I think it's a place that students can thrive and athletes can feel welcome, and uh, it's definitely one of the best decisions I've made in my life, and I'm honored to have a, grad, a degree from UMaine.
battle. When it's time to tackle the tough winter jobs, break through with a Fisher XV2 V-Plow. Towering flared wings deliver snow rolling action like you've never seen. Hidden obstacles are a given, but the Fisher Trip Edge system ensures the plowed snow stays where it belongs, in front of the blade. Reliable double acting cylinders lock the wings together at the touch of a button for straight blade operation or clean back dragging. Learn more about the XV2 V-Plow at fisherplows.com or by visiting Bangor Truck Equipment. You support your black bears at the game. Why not support them everywhere you go? The exclusive Black Bear Debit Card only at Main Savings. The Black Bear Debit Card is free to you and supports the Alphon Fund each time you use your card for a purchase. Just open a Red Wallet account at Main Savings. Stop into our College Avenue branch or any of our other convenient branches. Show your pride. Make a difference. The exclusive Black Bear Debit Card only at Main Savings. Learn more at Mainsavings.com. For every single person coming into our program, that's a new member of our family coming in. And for every single person leaving, that's just an, that's a member of our family going and moving into another part of their life. Or go another, do another thing. Get, get way in here. Get way in. everywhere I go. People, when I tell people that I'm at the University of Maine, or if I wear one of these shirts and go to a conference, um, there's always people uh, who see it and and want to talk to me about their story at, at the University of Maine. Um, I was in an Uber in Charlotte uh, not too long ago, and, and the, the, uh, the Uber driver was like, you're from Maine? I, I, I got recruited there. He's like, I didn't end up going, but I got, you know, he, like, there's no associations everywhere. Yes. yes. Faster, Eli. Good, elbows up, Eli. Um, I really take pride in being very organized. Um, I like being transparent. I like players to know exactly what they're going to be doing and what's going to be expected of them. So, like with our football team, we hang the program up um, the week before in the in their locker room, so they know exactly what's going to be expected of them that week, what they're trying to get done that week, so that they understand um, what it's for. What is this week for? How is it going to make me better? Okay, so you're under. Now pull in. So you should feel your butt working. Yeah. So that's the position we need some strength in. So you want to be here and then get here. Are we done or are we breaking down? No, we'll break it down. Um, so my job is a lot more along the lines of being a very even keel, like a steady person. So every time you come in to to a training session, it's the same feel. Now it, we build up as well. So like we have a, a training periodization that'll build through our strength program, through our conditioning program, and then uh, a periodization also through our kind of our motivational program. So we'll talk about different aspects of what it means to be a student athlete, what it means to do well in class, what it means to um, get to your treatment times, and what it means to manage your body. We really look at the stress that you're under and what we can do to help manage that because you, we understand that your athlete, these athletes are already good at their sport. They're good at their sport. We need to, we need to help them be better and find out in what ways we can help them be better. So that's a very, that's a very personal perspective on how we want to look at things. What I meant by managed stress is that um, we're looking at everything that a student athlete does 
in the hole. So just think of the student athlete's exertion as a pie chart where you're gonna give some amount of effort into your classes, some amount of effort into your, um, your practice and your training program and maybe you've got a tutor or maybe you've you know, you've got uh, a group to meet with that night, you know. Um, so those are all things that, that happen in the lives of student athletes. So it's our job to, you know, one, to get communication on that level about what's going on and how to properly manage where our stressors are going. Um, if, if, if you broke up with your significant other, then you're at a high level of stress. And that's something that's gonna affect how your program is going. If, if you didn't sleep that night, you're gonna have a high level of stress because you didn't recover from the last training day. If your nutrition's not great, then you're going to experience stress at a greater level than you are if you do have great nutrition. So I think um, talking to student athletes about where their challenges are, so in that way, we, we truly are stress management uh, professionals. Right. If you can't focus for 50 minutes or an hour, then you're gonna have trouble when you get into a game. So train those attributes here so that when you get onto the field, those things happen easily and naturally. All right, um, other than that, good job. Let's keep developing this leadership. Let's keep developing this brotherhood. Now let's keep developing this team. Let's go. You gotta grind all week, man. All week, no days off. Friday's the game day now, man. Yeah, we gotta be ready for tomorrow, man. Don't shine for real, man. And yeah, we gotta bring this tomorrow, man. Let's move shine. We're gonna grind all week. Come on, two, one, two, pull up. Hey, finish that shit. With DD Perks, you get upgrades like speeding past the line and a free beverage when you join. And the best part is, after you, that upgrade feeling stays with you all day. Experience the upgrade effect. Download the Duncan app and enroll today. EBS Building Supplies is your partner in home improvement with a location near you. We're your locally owned neighborhood hardware store. At EBS, we've got a selection that can't be beat and everything you need to make your next home improvement project simple. We'll even deliver what you need for free. Best of all, we'll take care of you with know-how and a smile every time, which gives you more time to enjoy your handiwork. EBS Building Supplies can do, just ask. You support your Black Bears at the game. Why not support them everywhere you go? The exclusive Black Bear debit card only at Main Savings. The Black Bear debit card is free to you and supports the Alphon Fund each time you use your card for a purchase. Just open a Red Wallet account at Main Savings. Stop into our College Avenue branch or any of our other convenient branches. Show your pride. Make a difference. The exclusive Black Bear debit card only at Main Savings. Learn more at mainsavings.com. Duncan has lots of fall favorites to root for. Maple pecan, pumpkin, maple sugar bacon. But on game day, we root for one team. One team, baby. Win the fall, folks.